Hey gang, Cameron Smith here. Uh, I'm new to town, and you know what else is? Movies. I'm a filmmaker, and after a long COVID riddled wait, the film industry is getting back on track. So I wanted to share my excitement with you guys. In this first episode of a new series that I'm starting, uh, which will show you kind of a behind the scenes, fun tidbit, no spoiler look at the upcoming blockbusters and uh, what other films might be coming out that I'm excited about. So let's play ball, or basketball, or baseball, or golf, and get transported to an interdimensional realm and also outer space planet for our next film. Look, space is a really, really big place, but it's still not big enough to hold the Looney Tunes, Monstars, and the best basketball player turned Hollywood celebrities with bald heads and famously unusual facial hair. Bold move, MJ. This week, we're talking about the long gestating Space Jam, A New Legacy, why it took 25 years to make the sequel, and the movies that we almost got along the way. For a quick overview, Space Jam is the end result of a combination of cartoon-based cable channels and the lack of new content back in the 80s and 90s. Basically, Bugs was bigger than ever, and while trying to capitalize on the success of cartoon-slash-live-action-based capers, like Who Framed Roger Rabbit and Cool World with Brad Pitt, Space Jam is the most 90s thing ever made. You're doing it! I, I need you to come out now. Never mind. Now, 25 years later, even though us original fans are in our 30s, at least, Warner Brothers has finally decided to make something for our kids. Not that I have kids, or that I want kids. It's a personal choice. I mean, some say it's a maturity thing, but then again, here I am narrating a video based completely in nostalgia, just like all my other millennial friends afraid to step foot into the current geopolitical narrative and our national discourse. Anyway, you're not my dad. The original made $250 million based off of an $80 million budget. In the 90s, those were huge numbers on top of a six-time platinum soundtrack. Seriously, one of the best soundtracks ever made. I still have Chris Rock singing Basketball Jones stuck in my head almost every week. So immediately, a sequel was playing, the main villain, Berserko, being voiced by none other than comedy legend, Mel Brooks. Side note, how blessed are we that we live on the same planet as Mel Brooks? Comedy legend Mel Brooks? Let's just, like, take a moment to appreciate how cool that is. There was just one problem. Although Jordan was bold enough to try and pull off this look, he wasn't quite ready to be in a sequel. That didn't stop a producer from telling Warner Brothers that he was full-fledged, ready, and willing to star. After truth came to light, and tons of money had already been spent, Warner Brothers looked to retool this series into something called Spy Jam, starring Jackie Chan, Race Jam, starring Jeff Gordon, and eventually even Skate Jam with Tony Hawk. Honestly, I wish they had kept going down this path so we could get the inevitable Jam Jam, starring Fish, or the Grateful Dead. Leonard Skinner. Ask your grandparents what those references are. Although Chan ended up not being involved, the spy concept was tooled into the 2002 Brendan Fraser-led movie Looney Tunes Back in Action, which ended up losing $20 million at the box office. Then LeBron came onto the scene, doing something nobody thought possible, actually rivaling Jordan in skill and charisma, something original Space Jam director Joe Pitka once said was impossible. When we talk about making that new movie, God bless him, there will never be another Michael Jordan. There's only been two athletes with that kind of charisma, Michael Jordan and Muhammad Ali. In 2014, Warner Brothers officially announced that the new sequel would star LeBron James. After five years of directors dropping out, cinematographers choosing the highway instead of my way, and Kobe Bryant's bizarre interest in helming the project, Filming began in June 2019. $183 million later, photography wrapped and the film headed to the other half of production, animation. Looney Tunes, a new legacy, includes the typical live-action and 3D combo, 
but is also bringing back hand-drawn animation to the table. I'm a big animation fan, so this is where I get excited. We haven't seen hand-drawn animation since 2009 in Disney's The Princess and the Frog, in a major like studio film at least. And the other kinds that we do get, let's just say they leave a lot to the imagination. My spoon is too big. Wonder Brothers hired Industrial Light and Magic to animate the Looney Tunes once again, their first time since the mind-bending Who Framed Roger Rabbit back in 1988. Veteran Tunes illustrators like Dan Haskett and Matt Williams is, 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 William is, are back animating the characters based on the original designs, although with Lola Bunning being uh, a little less hot. Which is a shame, kids of my generation grew up being attracted to all kinds of animated anthropomorphic movie stars. I'm looking at you, Roxanne, from Goofy Movie. Rox! Go Confusing childhood emotions aside, every kid should be able to experience the Space Jam franchise. I never thought I'd say that phrase, but it's bringing life to a generations old cartoon character world and breathing modern sensibilities to keep it updated, to keep it alive, and introducing it to new generations, and that's, that's something that we should really, really appreciate and embrace. So when you're done with the free fare, get out of the heat and away from Mosquito Mageddon, and uh, go sit in a nice air-conditioned theater at the Ionia Theater starting July 16th, and uh, I'll, I'll be there, I'll certainly be there, trying to wear Marvin's weird, like, Trojan helmet Martian thing, and also trying to spit a basketball on my finger. I don't think I'll ever be able to get that, but here's to trying. See you there. We need a boost. A secret weapon. Come on, man. Granny's out here having a martini at halftime. Hate is gonna hate. <laughs>